So this one here, uh, I'm going to tell you to, I would suggest that you do not use APRS mute. You don't need to use it. Um, what you re what you should do, what I highly recommend, is use APRS voice alert. And what that does is it puts a 100 hertz tone on your packet. So all the digipeters, all the eye gates are still going to digipete and gate your packet. There's, you're not going to see any difference on it at all. The incoming packets to your radio, you will not hear. The, the packet will populate. You just won't hear it, even with the volume turned up. Um, I'm hoping that a packet will pop up here. I have my volume turned up. And uh, when one comes through, you're not going to be able to hear it because I have voice alert enabled. 100 hertz tone on there. If you use mute, it's you're kind of defeating the purpose of APRS. And I'll explain that here. When you use voice alert, it puts that 100 hertz tone on there. And if someone else is using voice alert, you're going to hear that packet. But it's only the raw packet. It's not if a digipeter repeats it, you're not going to hear it, even though they have voice alert enabled. It's only the raw packet that you're going to hear. So you'll hear the packet, and you're going to know that they're within range, like talking range of you, if you hear their packet and they're running voice alert. So you could key up on 144.390, uh, here in North America, you could key up and be like, hey, this is blah, 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 meet me over on the 5-2. And then, you know, they, they can reply, yeah, all right, you got it, buddy, I'll meet you on the 5-2. And then you go over there and you finish your cue. So you can, you can talk on 144.390 to make a contact and then move to, you know, a clear simplex channel. But voice alert, allow, it lets you know who's around. And it lets you know that you're within voice comms with that other ham. And so you can make your contact. That's why I recommend uh, voice alert over APRS mute. Um, and, and to get into it with the 500, and really this will work on any APRS radio. And if you don't have a voice alert option in the menu, it's very easy to do. All you have to do is just put a 100 hertz tone on your transmit frequency and you won't hear any packets come in. I'd recommend putting like your APRS memory, one that's normal, that just has, you know, the standard whatever. And then your second memory for APRS, put in one with a hundred hertz tone and then you can easily go on your memory channel, just click back and forth, switch back and forth if you want voice alert or if you don't. So it's it's that easy to set up. You don't really your radio doesn't have to have the setting. In this case here, it has a setting. And what you do on the 500 is you scroll all the way down to 102 where it says APRS and then voice alert. And you click on that voice alert. You want tone tone squelch. So if you click that, uh, you could put in DCS or or whatever you want to do there. But uh, you want tone squelch. And then a hundred hertz tone. And if you're with a buddy up camping or something, you could use voice alert, but you don't want to hear everybody else, not even on the regular standard of a hundred hertz. Change your tone. So you and your buddy are now on 103.5 and you could hear each other's packets. You know, experiment, play around. That's that's pretty awesome. But uh yeah, so use use voice alert. Uh rather than APRS mute and um you know, you'll you'll be surprised how many people actually use voice alert. So there's there's just kind of a uh, APRS tip for you there. Anyway, hope this video was helpful and uh, wean yourself off of APRS mute and get on voice alert. See you on the next one.